A different week, a different beef for Stephen A. Smith. Oof. This week, it's with Hall of Fame wide receiver, one of the greatest wide receivers of all time, a top five wide receiver that I've ever seen, Terrell Owens, okay? And uh, it's over Max Kellerman. <laughs> and Kyrie Irving stepped in as a mediator. This, this shit is crazy. What is going on? Let's talk about it, y'all. Before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am your homeboy first. And this is the realest, most entertaining sports show in the game. Put it on some again. Hit that subscribe button. Share, 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 share. Put all your people on it. Okay. All right. So let's get into it. First of all, let me take y'all to the genesis of this. All right. So Stephen A. Smith went on a podcast. And uh, he was talking about uh, how he didn't like working with Max Kellerman, okay? Uh, then he went on to say, basically, that viewers didn't want to watch Max because he wasn't a journalist and he wasn't an athlete. So the viewer looking at it like, you know, why should I listen to you? Like, Max ain't got no credibility type shit. Now... People on social media have been coming to Max's defense, uh, largely. Some have pointed out that outrageous take that Max Kellerman had when he talked about uh, fate of the universe uh, uh, on the line. He wants Andre Iguodala to take the shot instead of Steph Curry. That was absolutely insane. Uh, but most other people chiming in and, you know, uh, speaking on Max's uh, resume, you know, to my... I remember when Max was the host of Around the Horn. Uh, I greatly respect Max Kellerman's uh, boxing analysis or his boxing uh, knowledge. You know, other than Burt Sugar in big media, I haven't seen anybody who uh, knows more than, than Max Kellerman, okay, when it comes to that. Uh, in terms of somebody from a journalistic standpoint, you know, of course, you somebody like Teddy Atlas that's actually in the game or some of these other trainers or boxers who then go into the media. I'm talking about just the guys who are just viewers and, you know, speaking on and watching and stuff like that. Max Kellerman is the boxing guy. You feel me? Uh, so, no, I never looked at it like that. But Stephen A., that's what he said. Basically, that that's why he ended up getting rid of Max. So, uh, somebody... Uh, a brother named Jay Slay, the drama prince. Okay, he screen recorded and tweeted out uh, what everybody was thinking about. Uh, <laughs> the clip of T.O. on first take saying that Max almost seems blacker than you, Stephen A., when they were discussing Colin Kaepernick. As y'all know how Stephen A. Smith came for Colin Kaepernick, very similar to how he always comes for Kyrie Irving, all that kind of shit. And uh, when T.O. said that, and, and let me, uh, I apologize, you may not have seen. Max Kellerman always hit the right tone with it. And a lot of people, including me, thought it was so unfortunate that the white guy was able to get it while the black guy didn't. You feel me? But it did. Max struck the right tone when it came to uh, Colin Kaepernick. Much like Nick Wright, a white guy. He also struck the right tone with it. It was so unfortunate to see the biggest guy in, in sports debate, Stephen A. Smith, not getting it. And so T.O. said, Man, I'm in the streets. He said what people were saying in the barbershops and in the street. That, bro, Max ain't blacker than you on that. And Stephen A. got pissed off at that. So when this brother, Jay Slater, drummer prince, tweeted that out, T.O. quote tweeted that and said facts. And then it was on. Okay. From there, Stephen A. Smith came back and quote tweeted T.O.'s tweet. And said, now, as for this dude, that's an entirely different story. You know how I feel about your sorry ass, Terrell Owens, and you know why. 
You should thank your heavenly father. I haven't zero e zeroed in on you with the trifling shit you tried to pull. Boy, Disney getting lax now, ain't it? Anyway, uh, tell folks to ask ESPN what your desperate ass tried to pull. Keep on talking. Eventually, you'll expose yourself. Hashtag real facts. All right. Uh, he also goes on to say, or oh, maybe I'll just dedicate the entire Stephen A. Smith show slash podcast on YouTube this Monday to all the things you tried to do behind the scenes to brothers over the years while claiming someone is more of a brother than others. Let me think about that over the next 24 hours. Hashtag sick of this. Hashtag enough. Okay. So, T.O. comes back and states, now Stephen A., ask me if I'm scared. I thank God every day, or at least I try to. But do what you do best. I'm not worried. You don't have to make some bold attempt to expose me, quote unquote expose me, because I have nothing to hide. You're mad because of the advice of my attorney. And we get to talking about attorneys now, y'all. After we filed against ESPN because on air, without my consent, you shared our text conversation. I'm not sure that constitutes as desperate, but enlighten us all. So, my boy, hone in on me. I'm good. I'm blessed and God got me. You're still salty about that interview I did with you and Max a few years back. And I said what I said, and today I'm still hashtag Team Max. Got that man fired. That's messed up. You saw me in Colorado. You should have told me about my sorry ass then. Now, I kind of skipped over that. That's kind of crazy that he called this Hall of Fame wide receiver sorry ass. But maybe he's talking about this from a, 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 a the standpoint of being a man. I don't know. But then this, this is where shit got real. Kyrie Irving chimed in at this bitch. Now, y'all know Stephen A. Smithton came at Kyrie countless times and then said he didn't like Kyrie and Kyrie knows why and all this kind of shit. So I don't know what they uh, what their true beef is, okay? But Kyrie chimed in at Stephen A. Smith. Can y'all call each other like grown, mature men and clear the air without all of the extra social media back and forth? Get what you need off your chest and move on. Hashtag, there are more important things to do. <laughs> Kyrie had to be the voice of reason for these motherfuckers. Now, uh, I did find this notable. Uh, colleague or maybe former colleague, I don't know if she's still employed at ESPN or not. Uh, but Josina Anderson, she weighed in and said at Terrell Owens, I'll agree that it's fine for SAS, Stephen A. Smith, to want change, but Max lost the job and deserves due grace too. And as you and others also stated, had many fans too. Okay. So a lot of folks chiming in all across the board. Uh, a real dope account put together. Uh, 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 well, they probably screen recorded this, but somebody put together a TikTok. Uh, and they go into a lot of what I've said on this uh, show. Stephen A. Smith is black. Stephen A. Smith is an HBCU graduate, but Stephen A. Smith is not in the same vein as a Colin Kaepernick. He ain't in the same vein as a Kyrie Irving. He ain't like that. I didn't told y'all that. And so we finna see. He finna go at T.O. now. Now, we remember he's done this before. I think maybe KD said something, and he pointed in the camera and said, y'all don't want me back out there on that road and all that kind of shit. Act like he was going to expose KD and Brun Brun and all these other motherfuckers. But this is the dude who he backs Chris Christie for president. Go look up Chris Christie. Go look up Chris Christie. He ain't Trump, but he want to be. This is the same motherfucker who cozies up to Sean Hannity. Go watch some Sean Hannity. Tell me what you think about him. Tell me what you think about him. 
this, this the same motherfucker that came for Colin Kaepernick, but yeah, you don't go at Roger Goodell and them boys like that. This same motherfucker that protects ESPN at all costs. I'm going to talk about worldwide leader. So, yeah, T.O. was right. That's why that motherfucker was really mad at Max. Because when it came to social issues, particularly social issues about race, this white man was on the right side and the black man who graduated from HBCU was. And that made him feel some type of way when he saw the reaction to it. And now you want to try to change the story. Come on, man. Come on, man. So this is probably about to get ugly. By the time y'all see this, I'm sure he'll be and dropped his shit on his podcast and tried to expose T.O. and everything like that. So it's going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly. But it's just another week in big sports media. Put it on some. Please subscribe to my daddy's YouTube channel because the more subscribers he gets, the more attractive he looks to sponsors. The more attractive he looks to sponsors, the more money he can make. And the more money he can make, the more money he can spend on me.